Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 12th of April 1917, the Canadian Corps successfully captured Vimy Ridge in the First World War. Vimy Ridge was a seven-kilometre ridge that had been held by the Germans since the race to the sea in 1914. French forces had made numerous attempts to seize the land over the next two years at the cost of approximately 150,000 casualties. However, due to the need to move French troops to Verdun, in October 1916 the position was taken over by the four divisions of the Canadian Corps. By early 1917, the war had become one of attrition. Desperate to break the stalemate, French and British commanders planned a major offensive near the city of Arras to divert German forces from the main French offensive further south. The Canadians were tasked with seizing Vimy Ridge, which the Germans had heavily fortified. The Canadian Corps, under the command of Lieutenant General Sir Julian Bing, and with the assistance of numerous British support units, carefully rehearsed their attack in the preceding weeks. They studied detailed maps and aerial photographs of the enemy lines, laid communication cables, dug a series of tunnels leading directly to the front lines, and stockpiled shells for the enormous artillery barrage that was to precede the assault. Over one million shells were fired at the German lines for a week before the attack. Referred to by German troops as the Week of Suffering, the bombardment destroyed many of their defences and left them exhausted. Then, at 5.30am on the 9th of April, the first wave of Canadian troops advanced behind a creeping artillery barrage through sleet and snow. They captured most of their objectives on the first day and took control of the final target, a heavily fortified mound known as the Pimple, by nightfall on the 12th of April.